clouds looking a little heavy. But this is the race coming up. And Ludmila Luzan of the Ukraine, very much the woman to beat. As you see, she's down in lane seven. Not the fastest qualifier by any means. And not the season that she had last year when she got silver and bronze medals. Over on the uh, far side there, for uh, Giorgio in lane one, Lydia Sulabaritze, and uh, she's furthest away from you, Maria Cobera for Spain. Watch out for her um, world champion in the C2 200 meter final last season. Annika Losker for uh, Germany from Berlin. She's in uh, lane three. Poland uh, in four. And then Hungary, uh, Virag Bala, you can pick her out uh, really easily. Fourth in the World Championships just recently over in Canada. Vanessa Tot in lane six for uh, Croatia. She was sixth in the World Championships. Then uh, Ludmila Luzan, who uh, won the world title and uh, it was her third World Championship gold. Denisa Raso Rahova of the Czech Republic in uh, lane number eight, and uh, Maria Olarasu of Moldova closest to you in uh, lane number nine. So, as I said uh, a couple of weeks ago, Ludmila Lusan won this title uh, ahead of Canada's Sophie Jensen and Maria Malia from Chile. Wind the clock back to last year's European. It was Lusan ahead of Virag Balor of Hungary with uh, Poland fourth, Croatia sixth, and uh, Romania seventh as we get away. Yeah, you can see already Maria Corbera, very experienced, good over the short distance as well as the longer distances. She's very versatile. She's got away to a very good start. Watch lane six also, Croatia, and expect lane seven, Ludmila Lutzan, to be in there with a shot of victory once we get to the halfway point. So Maria Cabrera, very experienced, 30 years of age, hails from uh, Sevilla. And uh, as Malcolm said, and as I uh, included in my introduction, world champion last season in the uh, Canadian double over 200 meters. But she's pretty effective as an individual paddler. She just missed out on a medal last year, uh, finishing fourth in the individual 500 meter race. And there, the pink boat of uh, Ludmila Luzan. A much more measured start than we saw in her qualifying race as she uh, comes up here to start to play a major part in the fight for gold. Yes, yes, she's got such a great technique, Ludmila Luzan. It's good to see her uh, close to her best again. Really keeps the long stroke, just managing the boat. There's a few waves she has to deal with. She's got quite a bit of work to do. We're over halfway now. The German in lane five is picking up, but it's up to the German, it's up to Luzan to really put the Spanish paddler under pressure now. That's Vanessa Tot of uh, Croatia you saw momentarily. But you can see from the... Uh, line of poise there that still Maria Cobera doing the best of the work and you can see Virag Bala of Hungary there the white top in the black canoe beginning to come forward maybe into a third place ahead of Vanessa Tot but the big battle at the moment is between Lusan and Cobera uh, Lusan trying to raise the rate now and it's uh, becoming effective but is it going to come a little bit too late Cobera gun to tape pillar it's a post and Corbera of Spain is the champion. Well, really impressive result from Corbera there. I mean, Ludmila Lutzan looked to be in good form. She looked to be catching the Spanish paddler up. But when asked the questions, Corbera pulled away again. Very, very impressive. And you can see from the look on Ludmila Lutzan's face, just a little bit disappointed with that. She left herself with too much to do. She was coming quickly towards the end, but it was too much. The Maria Corbera had it in the bag. And good to see Vanessa Tott ever improving, picking up the bronze medal there. As we see it again, it's fair to say, uh, Malcolm, two Olympic medals for Ludmila Lusa and last year in the Canadian double over 500, individually over 200, she got the bronze, but she's not quite been the same athlete this season. No, not quite, you know, that's uh, by her incredibly high standards. She's such a talented paddler, Ludmila Lusa, not quite there 
yeah, perhaps gave away too much early on in this race and wasn't able to come back with the speed she needed. Vanessa Tott, as you can see, there she is getting better and better with uh, each season. Fighting for the bronze medal, and we wait for the official result. But Maria Cobera, and uh, this was a brilliant piece of paddling, isolated to a certain extent over on the far side, straight down the lane, focused on what she had to do, and she didn't see anybody. No, and she concentrated on just her doing her own race. Maybe, maybe just had a little look round to her, her right there. But the boat also running very, very smoothly. And there are a few waves, as you, as you can see, behind her. But she coped with those very, very well. So really efficient paddle from her. And you can see just how delighted she is to take another medal for Spain. And in fact, there's a couple of the uh, K4 paddlers that won a medal earlier on watching Spain pick up a gold. And Vanessa Tott there, and what a brilliant medal for her, for Croatia, denying Virag Bala of uh, Hungary. And uh, interesting to uh, note that uh, Virag Bala was the better of the two a year ago in the European Championships. So uh, well done.